How to be a star in music. Music is spelled M-U-S-I-C. Each letter represents a great way to be a star while we are in music. The M says make good choices. If we are making good choices, that means play the instruments the correct way. Instead of playing them the wrong way and causing them to break. We don't want that to happen. If we are making good choices in music, that means we are sitting quietly, not talking to our neighbors, listening, definitely not doing what these kids are doing, rolling on the floor, kicking, screaming. We need to make sure that our voices are off so we can hear everything we need to learn while we're in music. Another part of making good choices while we're in music is not touching the sound system. We don't want to mess anything up. We don't want to get hurt, so keep our hands off. Another thing we need to keep our hands off of are the fans. We don't want anyone to get hurt by the fans, so keep your hands off of the fans. If we are moving around doing a dance party, maybe moving around the room, please do not hit your friends. That is not time for that. I love to get to use instruments while we're in music and play together, but please do not go over to the cabinets and just take out whatever you want to play with. That is not making a good choice. We want to be able to play the instruments all together, so we need to wait for the right time. We get to move around the room a lot, and to do that safely and make good choices, there are a few spots that are not very safe to go. The first one is the back corner. There are lots of things that could fall over on us, so we need to try to avoid that area when we're moving around. The next spot that is not safe to go around is the speaker at the front of the room. These speakers are very, very, very heavy, and if we were to run into this on accident or trip and fall, the speaker could fall off and squish us. We don't want that to happen, so stay away from the speakers. Another spot is the piano. The piano at the bottom is made out of metal. That's not going to feel very good if we fall and hit our head on that. Behind the piano, there are a lot of cords and wires um, with the sound system, and we need to make sure we're staying safe. So please don't go behind the piano and make good choices. The last spot that we need to stay away from is behind my desk. Again, there's lots of cords. I don't want anyone to get hurt, so please stay away from those areas. This is my lava lamp, if you didn't know what it was. I like the lava lamp in here because it's just fun to look at sometimes. But the lava lamp can get very hot. So if you want to come take a look at the lava, make sure you're looking with your eyes and not with your hands. I don't want anybody's fingers to get hurt. This is called the diffuser. It puts out good smelling smells to help us be better singers. There's water inside the diffuser. So please, again, look with your eyes, not your hands, so we don't spill water all over the place. The next letter in music is U, and that stands for Use Kind Words. We are going to be making a lot of mistakes while we're in music this year, and mistakes are a good thing. They help us to learn and get better. But if we are making mistakes, we need to make sure we're using kind words with other friends in our class so we don't hurt anyone's feelings. Fiber, you messed up! Ha, 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 ha. Doesn't make us feel very good if somebody laughs when we make a mistake. It's okay, Armando. You can try it next time. Instead of laughing, we could tell them they did a good job to try again and do better next time. Another way to use kind words is when we're talking about composers. Sometimes composers have funny names, but that doesn't mean we need to make fun of them. The next letter in music is S, and that stands for show respect to classmates, teachers, and music. To show Let's respect to your classmates, you will listen when they answer a question instead of rolling on the floor, talking to your neighbor, playing rock, paper, scissors, whispering. That's not being respectful and you can't hear what their question was. Peyton. What is being respectful is listening and looking while they ask their question. Miss my head, do you have the saxophone? <laughs> when you yell at me to ask a question, that's not being respectful and I can't always hear what you're trying to ask me. Instead of yelling out your question or comment, the respectful thing to do Olivia? would be to raise your hand and wait for Where me to that? call on you so that I can hear everyone and what they have to say. When are we going to be done? I don't like this music. 
we listen to a lot of music in music, and to be respectful to the music, you need to make sure that you are listening, not rolling on the floor, yelling that you don't like the music. Being respectful means that we're listening. The composers have worked hard composing the music, and we need to respect all of the work that they've done. This might look like closing your eyes to listen and focus on the music, or just sitting quietly so you can hear everything that the composer composed. The next letter in music is I, which stands for involve yourself in all activities. If you're involved in all the activities, that means you're participating and trying everything with us. Even if it's not your favorite song or your favorite game or your favorite dance, you're still going to try it with us because we're learning. When we do brain breaks or dance, that's a time to get some wiggles out and move around the room. Standing by the side and pouting is not an option. Again, even if it's not your favorite, just move around the room, get some wiggles out, have some fun. You don't have to do exactly what the dance is, but we need to be moving all together. The last letter in music is C, and C stands for care for the room and the instruments. Part of caring for the room means leaving the spots on the floor alone. If everybody in the whole school comes and picks up the spots, they won't stick to the carpet anymore, so please keep your hands off of the spots. Another way to take care of the room is cleaning up things off of the floor. If you find pencils or trash, pick them up and put them where they need to go. When we take care of the instruments, we don't want to play them the wrong way so they get broken. Instead, we need to play them the right way so that we all get a chance to play all of the instruments. If we are all talking in music or playing instruments and I need to get your attention, I'll make this sound. And after you hear that sound, you'll echo it back and that means you put your eyes on me and you're ready to listen and follow the next direction. All right guys, it's time to come get a number order. At the end of each music class, we will always walk to the door and get a number order. Not running to the door, not skipping, but walking. And please make sure that you get there quietly and are facing forward so we're ready to go. If you end up at the end of the line and are back by the piano, please make sure to keep your hands off of the things on the piano. You wouldn't want me to come into your classroom and touch things on your desk, so please don't touch things that are on the piano. All of the things that we've talked about in this video, making good choices, using kind words, showing respect, involving yourself in all activities, and caring for the room and instruments are all ways to help us be a moonlight star while we are in music. Thank you for watching, and be sure to be a star every time you come to music.